Hey guys, welcome to my new After Effects video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make telescope animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So friends, after finished video, I will share all project files for download. Well, I have one background solid layer and six rectangle layers. This is simple shape layers. And let's select these all layers and go to here. Then go to here, search button and let's search here, size and round. Okay. So in this time, let's change work area like this and make keyframes for size and roundness. Let's move to right these keyframes and go to here. Let's change work area. Let's press U for see only keyframes. Okay, nice. Right now, click this size icon and change size like this. And change roughness for sphere. And change layer 5. Click this icon and chain size, chain redness. Let's change size for big circle. Okay, not bad. And change layer 4, chain redness, and chain size again. Okay, and layer 3, chain redness and size okay not bad and layer 2 change roughness and size okay let's see nice and finally select layer 6 and let's change only size okay that's good so let's select all three frames and right mouse easy is or f9 and go to graph editor let's zoom to graph and select first three frames let's make smooth graph and select these three frames move to left let's see okay that's good so back to keyframes and select last keyframes, move to right. Okay, that's good. So in this time, go to here, first keyframe and let's press P. Let's change work area and change preview fit up to 100 and make new passing keyframe and go to first second, make new passing keyframe and move to down. Then go to 10 keyframe. For shortcut, you can use hold shift press page down in the keyboard or click here. Right here, plus 10. For go to 10 keyframe, click OK. And let's move to up these layers. Go to again 10 keyframe, move to down. Again, go to 10 keyframe, move to up. And again, move to down. And again, Moved up. Let's see. Okay, select all three frames. Make easy. Let's see. Okay, that's good. So again, select all three frames. Right mouse and three frame interpolation. Change auto bezier to linear. Click OK. Okay, very nice. So let's press U again for see all three frames. Okay. Let's press U for close keyframes, then select all layers and right here size and round. Okay. And let's make full screen this timeline. And let's select here. Okay. And press U. Okay, nice. And let's move to left these keyframes. 
Let's see timing. Let's see. Okay, not bad. Let's move right these J frames and let's make step by step animation. First, select this circle and select these J frames. Move to right and select this layer. This is layer 2. Select these J frames. Move to right. Let's see. Okay, let's move to left. Nice. And select this layer. Select J frames. Let's move to right. Okay, select this layer. Select J frames. Move to right. And this layer. Select J frames. Move to right. And finally, select this J frame. Select J frames. Move to right. Okay, let's see. Nice. So in this time, let's select these J frames, size and roughness, and move to left. So right now, let's see timing. Move to left like this. Okay, that's good. So let's close JFrame settings. And in this time, let's create new null object for control these objects. Right mouse, new and null object. Okay, so for move anchor point center, hold control, double click palm behind icon. And let's move the center here. Then select these all layers. Let's link to null object. Okay, let's press P, make new passing JFrame. And go to 10 frame. Let's move to down. Again, go to 10 frame. Let's move to up. Okay, go to 10 frame again. Move to down. And again, go to 10 frame. Move to up. Again, go to 10 frame. Move to down. So, this more chain frames for bones effect. Okay, so select chain frames, make easy. And let's leave work area. Let's say animation. Okay, let's right mouse, again JFrame interpolation, change auto bezier to linear, click OK, let's see. Okay, that's good. Let's hold Shift, press R, make rotation JFrame, and go to here, change rotation like this. Let's see. Okay, and in this time, change rotation. Let's change a little bit. Okay, go to here and chain rotation again and go to here change like this and go to last chain frame change zero select chain frames make easy let's see okay very good so in this time let's go to shape layers and hold this icon select this rectangle tool and let's make one rectangle tool like this Go to fill, change color to yellow. Okay, and again, control D for duplicate. Let's open inside contents rectangle one, pet one, click the size icon and change size like this. Okay, change brightness. Okay, so in this time, select this pen tool. Let's make one line like this. Clicization two. And let's change stroke width. Okay. So let's try to change stroke width like this. And open inside contents shape one. And stroke one change path cup to round cup. Okay, nice. Let's move to behind here. Okay, so select the shape layer and control D for duplicate, press R, chain rotation like this. Move to here. Okay, 
Okay, select the shape layer, control D and let's press P, move to right and press R, chain rotation and move to left. Okay, that's good. So in this time, let's make a little bit animation for these lines. Select the shape layer, change name line 1 and go to add, open trim pads here and let's go to first second change end zero make end keyframe and go to here change 100 select keyframes make easy let's see okay select keyframes go to graph editor and make smooth graph okay back to keyframes and let's select line press u select these end keyframes ctrl c select this layer Let's select this, change line 2 and go to first second, control V. Nice. And select this layer, change line 3 and control V. Nice. Let's move right these layers. Okay, not bad. So in this time, let's select the shape layer and open inside rectangle one and click this size icon let's go to here make size keyframe go to first second change zero and select keyframes make easy then select this shape layer and open inside make size keyframe go to here change this zero select keyframes make easy let's see I select keyframes, move to left. Let's move to right. Okay, that's good. So, select these lines and let's move to right. Okay, select these all layers and move to right here. Let's see timing. Okay, that's good. And select these all layers, move to behind these telescope layers. Let's see. Okay, that's good. So, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.